What's if you Today's video is kind of like a space haul because I'm obsessed with space, as you'll probably know. And um, on Saturday, I went to like one of the nearest museums to me, and there was like a special star kind of like space thing going on there. So I went there and uh, I picked up a few things. By a few, I mean a lot of things. Oh yeah, and um, yesterday, <laughs> um, I finished season two of The 100. And season three is gonna be coming out on the 24th, I think. So I can't wait for that. And um, I think my dad's getting something so we have access to like some channels in America. And I think, I think, this program's on like the CW or something in America, so we might have access to that. So we could just watch it and yes. So anyway, on to the space hall. So the first thing I picked up was this and it is Is There Anyone Out There? Um booklet thing. It just looks like this. And it basically it's probably like talking about how there might be life out there or something, stuff like that, so. And it's got other things in it, like make a volcano. <laughs> um, it is for 9 to 12 year olds, but I'm bugging my gallop anyway. So, yep. Yeah. I mean, I understand space a lot. I know some people don't, but I get it. <laughs> the next thing I got was another booklet, and it just looks like this, but hasn't got like that on it this time and uh it's basically back down to earth too so there's the first one which i didn't get because i didn't see it but it says exploring asteroids comet comets impacts and craters so basically just that and uh yeah here we go some of the stuff inside it the next things i picked up are actually behind me if you didn't notice and i'm just gonna go through them now so this is the first one that I saw and it is a crab nebula. If you don't know what a nebula is, search it. This is the M42 nebula and it's located in the orange um, ocean. This is Galaxy M51. I only know this because it's on the back of them by the way and um, it is a spiral galaxy. This is the M16 Eagle nebula and um, this is one of my favourites. This is the Dumb Bell nebula um, it's also known as a Boti, I think, a dumbbell is. And this is two galaxies um, colliding into one super galaxy. And um, uh, they, they are separate names, but they're like a bunch of numbers and letters, so <laughs> I won't be bothered to call that out. Um, they do look better when you like she got them because they look weird on the camera. But um, some of them are, are quite a bit blurry, especially the bottom one. Um, the dumbbell one is quite blurry as well, but that's just the telescope. The next things I'm going to show you are actually really good quality. <clears throat> What's happening with my voice there? But um, they are just these, and they're postcards. But um, here's one of them, and mm, you can't really see it that well. That's one of them, that's terrible. No, nope. <laughs> that's what it looks like. This one is one of my favourites and again it's a postcard and also again you can't really see it but there's one of them and then we've got this one which looks like a nebula to me and then we have one of my faves again which is a bit blurry but it's very nice and it just looks like that and these are actual photos taken with a camera so uh, they are really good with a camera I mean like a camera through a telescope. So I'm just going to go through them again because the lighting went weird. So they're a better now. So you just look like this. And then you've got that one. So that's what you look like. And then I've got this big poster right here. And it's got loads of information on the back as you can see the writing. So that's really nice as well. And then... I picked these up as well, which are just little bits and bobs, and I got this, which is a Stargazing Live um, Star Guide from 2012, but it's still good for 2016. And then 
on the it comes with a compass as well like a little compass so that's very accurate and then on the back we have the moon guide of it and Stargate Live is like a um a program on TV and it just looks like this just tells you bits and bob yeah they're just accurate and fruit there and then yeah it's very good and um just got this which just tells you about things that's happening on certain dates and then I have this which is just websites for if you're interested in astron astronomy and then uh, I've got a uh, dark night sky discovery which is a stargazing guide and it just looks like this through there I understand it and uh, just goes into one um, and then I've just got these two like bookmarks which are exactly the same just different colour for there and it tells you about the brilliant star surveil I think and uh, yeah so it just tells about galaxies on there and that's literally all that I had and all of this was for free um yeah for free even these um, big things and those photos all for free and um there was a survey I had and you had to like <laughs> like answer the questions it wasn't a survey it was a quiz but um I asked them all <laughs> because I can and um so yeah and I, I I'm sorry but I may be a bit of a snob now but if you want you can ask me questions about space down below and I would either research them for you or just I might don't them so that's watch guys can't subscribe. I'll hop into my voice and bye.